Hello, and welcome to TPM Three Minute Thursday. My name is Robbie Boiler, and today's topic is SolidWorks Sheet Metal Flats Showing the Form State Inside of a Sheet Metal Drawing. What I have on my screen is a SolidWorks Sheet Metal Part. What I want to do with this simple sheet metal part is create a formed and flattened view inside of a drawing to show my whole locations and forming directions. So let's do that now. I'll create a new drawing, select a template, then I'm going to select an isometric view of my formed sheet metal part and place it on my drawing. Inside of my configuration, I'm going to make sure that I am in the default formed configuration for this drawing view. Then I'm going to go back to my view palette and select a flat pattern drawing view. As I select my drawing view, I can see that something is wrong. I'm in the correct configuration, my default sheet metal flat pattern configuration, and it's showing up as formed instead of flat. So what happened? Well, it's quite simple, really. If you've used a sheet metal application inside of SOLIDWORKS, you've probably seen this once or twice already. Somehow, you've accidentally gone in and suppressed the flat pattern feature inside of your feature tree inside of the sheet metal configuration. So if you go to your configuration manager, we can fix this. Find the default sheet metal flat pattern configuration and activate it. If it's active, it should be flat. To fix this, we can hit the flatten button, or we can unsuppress the flat pattern feature inside of the feature manager. So now our sheet metal part should be flat inside of this configuration. So let's check. Our flat pattern configuration is active, and the part is flat. If we go back to our default configuration, it should show up as formed. When you're working inside of a sheet metal part, always try to make it your goal to work inside of the default configuration. This way you'll avoid this problem. Let's go back to our drawing and see if everything is correct. Now if I select my drawing view, my forming directions still aren't showing up. To fix this, make sure the configuration is the same, sheet metal flat pattern, and double click the flat pattern view and your forming directions should show up. So how did you accidentally suppress that feature? Well, it's a very common workflow. We have a form sheet metal part in the default configuration. For someone to open the drawing by clicking on the flat pattern view. If you open the drawing inside of that flat pattern view, your first instinct is usually to come up here and unflatten the part. Inside of that configuration, you do not want to do that. That is an incorrect workflow and it's going to result in that flat pattern showing up as formed instead of flat. So again, always make sure that the flat pattern is flat and that you are working inside of the default configuration before you work on your sheet metal part. That's TPM's 3-Minute Thursday. Thanks for listening. We will see you next time.